Hey guys, it's Milo back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a few possible ideas that could be added to Fortnite Mobile. So I'm just going to go through the list on what would be most important to least important to like get added, and I hope you guys like this video, so yeah, let's get started. The first thing on the list is something called auto fire. Most of you guys probably know about this, and it basically just makes your gun shoot automatically when you hover over somebody with your crosshair. And it's extremely overpowered, especially with shotguns. It's so easy to hit shots. Like, if you guys haven't tried this, I'd recommend trying it. It's basically why every noob is a decent player on Fortnite Mobile. Like, all you have to do is go over the person, and with aim assist and auto fire, it's just like so overpowered and annoying. And if you guys have ever been killed by like a bot on Fortnite Mobile, it's probably because of auto fire. It basically makes any bot into like a legend. It's so weird. The second thing on the list, Ducky the Gamer actually proposed to Epic Games as a good idea, and I agree with him on this one a lot. Um, and this is to have different HUD slots, and I feel like this is a really good idea because maybe a two-finger player m might want to have a four-finger HUD, but they don't want to completely delete their two-finger HUD in case they don't like four fingers. Also, I feel like this would be a really good idea because if you don't want to play with four fingers one day, you can just switch it straight to three fingers without having to remove anything. You can just switch to another slot. Or you can play two. Like, Or like if you want to go try hard, you can play five. Like You can just switch around your HUDs, which I feel like would be a really, really cool idea. And hopefully Epic Games will think about adding this feature. So for now, I'm going to stick to the HUD idea. And I'm thinking it would be really cool if there was like a community HUD feature where you can like submit your HUDs to um like Epic Games and it can be on like a page with a bunch of other people's HUDs and you can try out people's HUDs without having to like completely recreate them and also people will be able to try out YouTubers HUDs without having to do anything at all but just like clicking on a button and then it'll be saved to one of their slots. Number four on this list is to have transparent HUD buttons. I think this would be a really good idea because some people have their buttons memorized, like what does what and where they actually are, and some people just don't want to have to see all the clutter and symbols and things on their screen. And I think they should just make it so there's an option to just see the circles where the buttons actually are instead of seeing the symbols. And also, I think... I think an option to make the hotbar a little bit more transparent would be a very good idea because I feel like the solid color in the sh like gun picture takes up way too much of the screen, especially on iPhones, and sometimes it can even like cover my enemies and it gets very annoying. I think the option to turn shadows on and off would be a very good idea on Fortnite Mobile because not having shadows would make you lag less, and also having shadows on affects your performance um, in your gameplay, basically. The last thing that I'm going to touch on for Fortnite Mobile is um, making the HUD more customizable. So um, we can move certain things that we can't like move now. And an example of that is where we see our ping and where we see the different like numbers for where we're looking, like uh, north, northwest, and different things like that. I feel like we should um, be able to customize this because sometimes things can get overlapped and it makes our screens look a lot cluttered and it just gets really annoying. So now I'm going to touch on a few specific things that should be added to Fortnite for all platforms. And I'm going to start off with adding multiple islands. I feel like Epic should add multiple islands because the basic island gets really boring. And the, f the feeling of playing a new game is really awesome. And I don't really have that feeling of playing Fortnite anymore. It just doesn't really feel as fun anymore. And I feel like Epic Games could improve the game basically by just adding another island. And another thing with the islands is making it so we can create our own islands and share it. And maybe the best islands can get featured and we can play on it, kind of like the block. My next idea is adding a new game mode that is first person. 
And first person shooting would be like a really cool idea, but building in first person mode would be really weird. So maybe they could make it so we don't build in this game mode and it's just shooting. I think that'd be a really good idea and it would change Fortnite a lot. And this was my idea, by the way. I did not take it from anybody else. Epic should make it so that we can vote which LTMs we like the most and make them um, like permanent or stay for a month. Kind of like Sniper Shootout, for example. I really love Sniper Shootout, and it barely ever comes out, and it's kind of sad because sometimes I don't even get the chance to play it. So I think they should make it so that the LTMs that we like the most actually like get to stay f like permanently or forever. That's really all I have for you guys today. I hope you like this video. It's a little bit different from what I normally do. But if you liked it, maybe feel free to like the video or subscribe. And yeah, um, I hope you guys like the video and peace out. So I'm just going to leave a quick note right now before I play clips of me building. I'm going to say that my videos are completely unscripted and I come up with this as I go. So I basically improvise. And this is because I don't really have time to write a script or anything, so you guys will hear me stuttering, trying to catch my thoughts, and um, using words like um and and also a lot, but that's just because my videos are unscripted, so I hope you guys understand, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.